What's up my friends? It's Rachel and today we're going to be making some Halloween ephemera. I've got three videos to do with you for Halloween ephemera and this first one here is super easy. We are making some stamped cards. You could make these into journal cards or collage cards. So let's get started. So I like to use some boxes that I have, you know, ready for recycling. So like this K-cup box, a pizza box, something like that. That's like thinner cardboard. So I cut off the edges and cut them down so it's like a nice, easy, flat piece to work with. Next, I'm going to grab my script stamp and I'm going to put some Distress Oxide on it. And I like to use walnut stain you can use whatever color you like and i am just going to kind of randomly put that all over my cardboard pieces i will have this um script stamp linked down below i love it because it's bigger and i can get a whole bunch done at once so as you can see i kind of go over parts again you really kind of want that to to show up for your background so next, grab all of your Halloween stamps. Just grab them. I've got this cute little kitty, um, masked kitty, I think, that I got in thrifting. And so you're going to want to get out your ink and stamp on your cardboard. And try not to put your images too close because you're we're going to want to like cut them out. Um, and so you, I like having the straight lines on them so they're more like cards but that's entirely up to you and makes it a little bit easier to cut out so I just go to town stamping them up so like I said we're just going to get these cut out and I will use my um, guillotine paper cutter as much as I can doing this just because you know cutting through cardboard can be kind of annoying and it kind of hurts my hands sometimes so I use this to trim them down as much as possible, trying to make the edges the same around each image. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do with all of those. Okay, so the next step after you get them all cut out, and this is totally optional, but I'm going to take a corner rounder or a corner like edger. I'm not sure what this one is called and just go around each card. Um, you can do this by hand. I find that these little punches kind of, um, help my hands like not hurt as much. And so I'm just going to round each corner or, um, use that little other little punch to cut the edges off. And then I'm going to go back in with my walnut stain and go around each of the cards to distress them. I just think this really kind of ties everything together. makes them look so, so cool. And that's it. They look amazing. We did this last year for Summer Fun Ephemera and absolutely love these cards. Let me know if you make them and watch out for the next two videos for my Halloween Ephemera. Mm -hmm. 